Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Conan Exiles. I am the Radio Man 3 and it is awesome to have you along. I'm trying to find a game that all of us might enjoy more than Seven Days to Die. Uh, about a third of you watched that, while about 1,500 watch Atlas. So I thought there's got to be something out there that we could play that's going to, you know, um, interest more people. So I was thinking, let's try Conan Exiles again. Last time I was with a group play and I was doing the single player and it just got to be too much. So I'm wondering if it's gonna be okay now. And they added horses to the game as well. So I feel like I wanna do that. This is our character, Cheshkan Dorian, the Zamorian. <laughs> I didn't even notice that before. Condemned to death and exile for crimes including combo skipping, piracy, banditry. Anybody who removes his body, living or dead, from the cross will be flayed alive, along with all members of their family. Confirm. So, there we go. We are underway. So let me know what you think. Of the Cobra, a prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands, crucified, and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings until fate intervenes. Thirsty, dead woman. Shall I cut you down from that corpse tree? It might kill you. You civilized women are soft. Your lives are not nailed to your spines. I come from, we kill our enemies in battle. We don't leave them in the desert to die like dogs. So, you live again, dead woman. This land does not love men. You are marked. The ghost fence wearing that. <laughs> it might have been kinder to leave you on the cross. Live, love, burn with life, slay and survive. We will meet again, dead woman. So there he is, Conan, the Barbarian, walking right into a big old giant sandstorm. And there we go. Boom, we have arrived. Get Chesh going. Here she is. Mm-hmm. Quite lovely. A warrior. Ronan's brother. E. Grabbing stones. I'm gonna come over here and talk to this little thing over here, too. Press E to interact. Behold, bonded one. The very boundaries of civilization. Beyond the passage of our highways. By the wild places of the world where untamed savages make endless war upon each other. You cannot pass into the endless wastes enslaved. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Follow the road. Any road. All roads lead to the city. 
Okay, so we now we're, we're, we were a slave. We are a slave. We are we are inside this world. We cannot escape this world because there are invisible barriers uh, that are blocking us. There's a ghost wall around the whole place, so you can't you can't get out. Let's go back and get this note before we forget to do that. Uh, it's a harsh world, dangerous world. Uh, the building is a lot of fun, and I I I do enjoy the game. I am beaten. Let's listen. Left to rot among the ruins of the past. There are others here, slaves, bandits and cannibals, exiles from lands I've never heard of. Some of them try to scrape a life from the wasteland, scrabbling in the rocks and sand for their own place. I cannot go on. The life that I left behind haunts me. The sun over the glittering spires of Belverus is forever denied me. The smell of my daughter's hair I will pass the ghost fence, and this cursed land will finally end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. Stranger, you have my pity. You do not know how cursed you truly are. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Uh, I did all the stuff here on the journeyman quest. I don't know why that stays up there like that. Hopefully it'll go away soon. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, uh, but there you go. So there's somebody's tried. We got a little bit of water. We've got some insects. Ooh, number two is different. I don't recall ever seeing that before. What is this? A worker bee. Let's hold on to that. I don't know what it is, so we're not going to get rid of it. We're going to do that right there, and... I think I can drop these... <clears throat> These will be fine to drop. There we go. Let's grab some more of this stuff, and we'll get some things made. We'll get our clothing. Yeah, I was just kind of hoping maybe maybe this would interest more people uh, than than seven days. So that's that's kind of what we're trying out here today. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I do, like I said, enjoy the game. There we go. Lovely. Get all the bugs. They're gonna stack up real nice. We got a few more. Looks like we got a few more bees as well. These apparently look like they're pretty common. Does it say anything about these guys? I don't see anything in information. I'm sure you guys will tell me what the bees are all about. What's what's the buzz with the bees? That's our junk we threw on the ground. We'll grab a few more piles of this stuff here too. There we go. Grab that one. This one. And then we're going to want some sticks, too. Now, uh, what I'm very curious about is just how friendly this is to single player. Uh, in terms of the grind. We'll see. Uh, last time I noticed that about halfway through I got my own server so I could turn up the gather rate. So we'll see. If, if it's a reasonable game for a single player to play, then, then without being able to boost gather rates, we'll see how that goes. That's what always, that's always one of my conditions of anything I play, especially survival games. Uh, is this a tablet we can look at? No, it's just a wall. There's no tablet on here. Okay. Uh, here's some sticks. Let's grab these guys up. We'll get some tools going and stuff like that. You know, the basic things that we need. Conan Exiles. Horses. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. That's one thing, too, I always wanted in, in the game is, is horses. You know me, I want my horses. I like having horses in a game. And this game is just so suited for it because the world is so huge. We cannot take the arrows out of their bodies in case you're wondering. Uh, inventory. What can we make? Let's put the water skin down on number eight. Let's make an axe. Make an, a, a, a pickaxe? No? What do I need? I need more sticks. Okay, so let's get some more sticks. They're everywhere. Go, craft a tool. There's another journeyman quest done. Uh, I think I want to kind of go the same path I went last time I played, which was May, I think, of 2018 is what it said. When I look back at the last Let's Play I had. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm double-clicking on it thinking I can do that. Uh, can we craft that? We can craft one of those as well. Let's do that. And attributes. Do we have any points to spend? Unspent points, too. Let's go encumbrance. And what's agility again? 
Sprinting drains less stamina. Agility is measure. Okay, and that one there. Let's put one point in each of those. We'll do that right there. And, oh, is there any feats that I can learn now that I know? Uh, let's see. Is Can I learn the sword? Warrior. Available level one, spent zero, level two. I think I can get a little bit further along before I can even do that. So let's just, uh, let's keep going. Aha! Okay, we still have a little ways to go down this road. I forgot that we've got this guy up here being, uh, gobbled up on. By this, uh, this buzzard. This giant buzzard bat. Oh, man, that is one scary looking dude. Yep. He is one scary looking dude. Let's go up here and see what's going on. <sighs> Dead. Gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the mm. screaming winds. The men are scared. Yeah. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. <sighs> I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire, or the bite of the axe. Yeah, I'm sure. But yeah, does not sound like a good situation. There was trouble there. Lots of trouble. And they lost. <laughs> Sticks and stones with fire. D didn't work. There's like a... What, what is all that up there? There's a, I don't recall that ever being like that before. Let's eat a few, uh, few of these bugs. Mmm. They're gonna be crunchy and delicious. There we go. We ate some bugs. Okay, this is where we got the roads, right? I mean, we got left, right, and down the middle, I believe. And I think I want to go towards the left, actually. I know a nice little spot to start off in. I'm comfortable there. And since I move a little slower than probably most people who play the game, uh, it'd be nice to be in a spot. Look at her, the way she picks that stuff. She's just a pro. She's a boss at it. I think that that would be the, an, uh, a good way for me to go, basically. Now, I think they've moved some things around on the map. You guys will confirm that for me. I'm pretty sure they have. Sprint hold. Jump space bar. E. Climb. I've done all these things in the, over here on the bottom right-hand side. I don't know why they're still there. Maybe that's a thing. There's water just inside of here. I hear some grunting and stuff going on. Let's take a look at our inventory. Uh, what else can we... Let's make a bedroll. A fiber bedroll. Uh, what do I need? Twine. Okay, so we need to make some... That was weird. Okay. <laughs> Twine. Let's make... Ten. What's the bedroll take? It takes a few. Okay. There's a bedroll. What do we need for our clothes? Fibers. Okay, it looks to me like I've got enough to do all of this stuff. So let's do this stuff. Oh, oh, somebody's here. Hey, yo. No, 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 no. I did not know you were there. No fair, you jerk. Let's run. We're out of here. There's another one right there. Clothe yourself. I think we got away. I did not know that guy was going to come up and do that. Take a swing at me like that. I knew he was probably close by, but I didn't know he was standing on the same path as us. Okay. Do we look good here now? I think we're okay. Let's eat a few bugs. Let's drink our water. We're almost to water, so we're almost there. Whew. 
Inventory. Okay. Can we learn the sword yet? Unlock. There we go. Alright, beautiful. Attributes. Encumbrance again. Okay, let's go back into our inventory. Let's get that sword made. I might go back and cut that little dude down. What am I missing? Stone. Okay. Alright. Alright. That, that, uh, that, that scared me. He caught me off guard. He definitely caught me off guard. And now let's make that sword. Here we go. Wonderful. We'll get the bees out of here. Come on now. Need that sword. There we go. Number one. Okay, beautiful. Where is that guy? Where is that guy? What's he doing way up there? Here's that guy. Here he is. You, you, come here. Yeah, you. You scumbag. Poor Chesh. Just trying to, you know, live. Just trying to live. Gained a level just by killing that dude. What are we getting here? Fiber, plant fiber, plant fiber. Okay. Now this, there's an, a nest over here with eggs in it, I believe. What is that noise? It sounds like a snake. I think this is wrong to do. Nobody seemed to notice. Yeah, the big shield back, this one here doesn't seem to care that I did that. <clears throat> so I'm glad to I'm glad to see that. Oh, that's cheap. I did not miss that first swing. I mean, you tell me that didn't just just go straight into his body as he charged me. There's guys up there. I'm remembering this from last time we were here because it took me a while to get through this area because I was really worried about everybody. <laughs> oh, oh! Scouting an exile camp. I just did it. Didn't mean to, but I did. Let's run. Let's grab these eggs right here. Nice. Nobody's the wiser either. Ha 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 ha. Boy, Chesh, I tell you, man, she's got she's got some stealing abilities to her, doesn't she? Oh, just checking around to see. I thought I heard something that might have been a crocodile or something like that. Here's a few more eggs over here too. Some insects. Come on, give me those eggs. There we go. Need food. Got to have some food. I think we want to get past... <sighs> Let's open the map. Let's see, where are we at? We're safe here. There's a crocodile down the beach. I believe we want to get down into this area here. So I need to go down the shore a little bit further. This might not be a bad place to cross, though. Let's fill our water skin. And we'll just drink. Drink, 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 drink. Number eight. There we go. We'll pass up this crocodile here. We got a red shale back there. That guy you don't want to mess around with. That guy's bad news. There should be some hyenas up here. Let's uh let's just take it easy for a second. 
Eat a bunch more bugs. There we go. Let's go back to our inventory. Let's get our eggs and put those on there instead. And we'll get that out of here. That's disgusting. Okay, let's get over to run. Yep, yeah, I know. Don't don't do it, hyenas. Don't you do it. I know exactly where I'm going. I remember this area. I got two packs of them. Okay, they gave up. I got another group right over here. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Right this way. Right this way, please. Please, follow me. Follow Chesh. Up this way. And then up this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I believe this is a nice little plateau to live up on. We should be able to avoid relatively well uh, trouble. It's a nice little spot to be in because we've got coal up this way along with spiders. And then if you go on this side, which you can cut through the middle here, if you go up this side, there's iron up at the top. At least that's how it used to be, and that's why I like this spot so much. Um, I got a little bit of a different idea, though, is what I want to build here. We're probably going to be here for a little bit, a little bit, and then we'll move to probably another location, too, depending on how, how things go. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is let's get our bedroll put down so that if we do die, we can come back here and spawn. So let's put you right there. We've gained a level. Uh, inventory. Let's go to... Is it attributes? Yeah, let's go to attributes. Let's go encumbrance one more time. Uh, strength. Every blow you strike with a blunted weapon deals 100% more concussive damage. Blunt. Hmm. <laughs> Accuracy, vitality, deep breath. Your breath timer is doubled. Temperature effects are diminished. Temperature effects, huh? Grit. Strong grip. You use 10% less stamina whenever you climb. You gain additional 10% stamina per regeneration tick. Resistance to damage. Hmm. Survival. Raw and bloody. You do not have to cook raw meat to avoid. Hard worker. You harvest resource nodes twice as fast. Hmm. Let's put a point into that right now, too. Unspent. Oh, I've got a couple more. So I'm going to take this all the way up to five. Up to that one. And let's do another in um, actually that's all of them right there what is this too what, what is this first one at takes a little while to get there so we got that let's go to feats we can learn that unlock I can see all these different building materials we have here uh, there's the box there's a campfire. Gotta love that. Uh, there's the bow and the shield. I don't want either one of those things, but I do want... Uh, what is this? This is the armor. Level 10. Okay, so what we do want, though, is weapons. Is there a... A, a spear. Here we go. Steel spear. This is what I'm looking for. This is the web. This is my one of my favorites. I really like the spear. Wow, these are the swords and stuff. Okay. Iron pike. I need to get to this guy right here. I would like to have a pike. Okay, so let's do that, and then inventory. Do I have enough stuff to make a box? Let's see if we do or not. Uh, no, we need wood, and we're going to need twine. So, yeah, now I've got to get uh, get going with some of the chopping and stuff like that. We need to get a place to set up, too, so we have a little something to get into in case there is a sandstorm, because that'll mess you up. That'll kill you right dead real quick. So uh, we definitely want to get started on building a little something. Uh, if anything, just a box that we go into if it does storm. Uh, you know, anytime soon. That's one thing we've got to think about. And then there's the uh, the purge as well. Uh, I did set it up to, I think it's decadent is the difficulty. It's not super hard, but it's a little more challenging than just uh, the, the purge will happen eventually. It, you know, it'll it'll happen. Do I get, what do I get if I use uh, my pick? Wood. I think it's better off if I use my axe though on that. 
Uh, so I do need a couple of boxes in order to get uh, some resources put down. So can I craft this yet? I need twine. So let's go ahead and do uh, uh, 10, 20 twine. That takes 12 and there's 100 wood and I've got 59 wood. I've only got 59 wood so far. So I need a lot more than that in order to get this thing rolling here. So let's... Uh, I'm gonna do a little work and get some uh, get some stuff put together, see what it takes to do it, and then I'll bring you back. Welcome back. We've got a few journeyman quests taken care of, just because I've got things in storage now, and you know we're doing all this good stuff. Uh, I'm trying to put down a few foundations. I'm having an issue behind me though. It doesn't want to let me do any more of these. I've just got the one chest for now. Uh, here we go. We can craft six more of them. Let's see what happens. Okay, I've got the bedroll too. I picked that up. I thought, well, what we can do is we can put that back down and we can put it down up here. And that way it's kind of up and off the ground. So we do that right there. And I don't know why I'm swinging because I'm just a tough girl. Five. Now let's hope. Okay, now it lets me do it. It wasn't going to let me put that there. So I'm really glad to see that this is this is happening. Okay, very good. Because I'd like to use this as kind of a an emergency entrance way right here. If we could get running and come right through here, we could do it. Is that iron right down there? I know they put more iron nodes in. I think that's what it was. But that looks like something right there. There were some uh, hyenas down in here. But I think they're just down around that corner right there. So I would like to have this a little bit bigger, of course. Uh, but in the meantime, I think we should get some walls going so that we have just a place that we can get into just in case so what do we need a one two th if i get three more foundations one two three four more foundations that'll seal this off and then what i could do is i could put walls around just a small piece and we can get a little bit bigger uh, and get building i just want to make sure i can get inside if there is like i said a sandstorm uh, so you don't want to be outside when you're doing that you don't want to be outside when a stand sandstorm hits so it's important to get to that point We've also going to have to be able to defend ourselves on the purge. So, uh, uh, God, you know, it's been so long that uh, uh, I don't know what to do there. We'll figure something out, though. I feel like I'm hearing fight music. I'm grabbing just about everything I can grab. Let's go down to the water's edge. Let's get some water. go uh, I should find something to kill too let's um let's get a giz uh, gazelle over here to uh, to eat let's see if we can do this uh, will our stamina get back up wow that, that animal took off quick <laughs> that one uh, I didn't get a, a, even a second swing in on it and it was gone so that was pretty cool all right so d I wonder if they changed that have to be quicker about that next time. That's okay. We've got we've got our bugs. We got eggs. We're we're fine. I was just thinking if we could, we'd do that. We're gonna need a lot of hide too, uh, to get some armor going. Uh, let's go number two. We need a lot of everything here at the beginning uh, to to get these, you know, this little structure going here. Uh, you can see I'm getting three and four wood at a time. Uh, with this axe. I think we might get more when we have the better axe on us. There's a little hyena right there. Can I grab him? I did. You are over encumbered. I just gra I just picked up a hyena. <laughs> What's this? This item cannot be moved. What? Can I drop it? I can drop it. There's a hyena in that bag. Let's go drop this stuff off and see if we can get back in time to grab him up. If not, we know we can get... You know, there's there's hyenas all over in this area right here. We've got plenty of time to uh, to grab a, a baby hyena to have a pet. Oh, I can't get up there. Not good. Uh, I'm just actually throwing this stuff in there. Uh, I'm actually pushing the wrong buttons in order to put that stuff in there uh, okay well let's try to throw everything in here 
I just don't know if we're going to get back there in time to... I was just fooling around. I figured I could pick up the hyena. The baby hyena. Oh, do we take more damage now when we fall? She sounded like she was really uh, hurting there. There it is. All right. Oh, the hyena is quite heavy, which I guess it would be, right? It is an animal. Now, can I put this in a chest? If I can't put it in the chest, I don't know what to do with it. There we go. I made it up that time. There we go. Okay. There we go. Perfect. All right. That's what I want. We'll work on that. You guys will probably fill me in on what it means, a spotted hyena. You know, what what it, what, it, what I have to do in order to get that, that guy grown up. I'm sure I can figure it out, too. But there you go. We've got ourselves a baby hyena in a box right now. I think there's a pen or something we have to use in order to raise them. We'll have to look into that. Nope, two. Wood, stone. My stomach hurts. Eating eggs. And then some bugs. There we go. There we go. We're full. We're full. I hope that I hope that, that cures that. Number two, fix that. I hope that fixes it. Eat a filling meal, find shelter, and kick. And then it's showing me... I guess those are just hints and tips down there on the bottom right-hand side. And they're there for a little while until you... I guess I could turn them off, right? There's got to be a way to turn that off. I don't even know that I really need the journeyman steps up there. I guess what it does is that's kind of the XP that helps you get going. I do need to kill an animal, though, and get some, you know, regular... Some, some meat off an animal. Uh, preferably one of these gazelles here. That would be ideal. More wood. And then we're going to get some more stone. Chop this until the pick breaks. I'll fix it again. Break some more. And then we're going to we're gonna just make a bunch of foundations. It looks like I've got one on me right now. But that's the idea. Let's fix that. I'm kind of curious if I can get this gazelle. Let's try one more time. Oh, we're going to try more than once. Oh, man. Look at that. Look how fast that thing is. They used to stay a little bit, you know, stand. They're not doing that anymore. You could usually get a few swings in on them. Hmm, that's different. That feels different to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Looks to me like I need the bow. I think I will. I think I will work towards getting the bow. Because if anything else, I can hit it with an arrow. If it runs, I can hit it with another arrow. And I wonder if eventually I can't just walk right up to it and then just stick it with a sword. Almost like it forgets that I'm the one that's shooting it. <laughs> Chasing it around. Inventory. How many can we make now? Foundations. What do I need? Four, I think I said? Four? I think that's good right there. And we should have enough. We should have a little bit of stuff on us as well to uh, make some walls. So far, so good, though. I I'm feeling all right. I've done nothing so far. <laughs> nothing. Uh, we should get... Uh, you know what else would be a good idea to get hooked up? Probably even first, before we even talk about a bow, is can I make the fish traps yet? Uh, that would be a good thing to have in the water right there at the water's edge. I would be able to go down and get the fish out of that and uh, eat the fish. Let's, uh, let's get these finished placed. There we go. And we're going to go one, and two, and three. And eventually this is going to come out a little bit more. But like I said, I would like to get something with a door on it down on this end so we can get inside of it. Once you're inside, you're okay. Craft that. Let's craft a couple of those. And let's craft 
handful of those and let's do another one of those a couple more of those Sloping inverted sandstone wall. That's oh nice. Okay, I don't you know I don't know if I've ever used. I guess I've used those before. I forget what I've done and haven't done this game. I I'm trying to decide just how grand I want to go with a place right here because the idea is to move to a, a different location eventually, a much nicer location. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that right there. And then I usually like to have a window on either side of the door so I can see what's going on. While I'm at the door, here we go. Inventory. Let's grab some of these guys right here. Like so. Alright, inventory. Then I need a couple of these guys right here again. We're going to put one right there. One right there. Okay. Uh, that's not so bad. We could probably get this enclosed in and have just this as being... Eventually, we could take this all out and turn this into like kind of a balcony area out here. And then we'll build our building, uh, our small building back this way. But again, like I said, at least we'll be able to be able to get inside uh, to uh, get out of the weather if we have to. Let's craft one of those. There we go. Let's do that. Number five. There we are. We got a little ramp up there. And then do I have doors? Let's craft a door. And then what else did I need? I needed probably a few more walls, right? How many more of these can I make? I can craft six more of those. Let's do that next. Let's get a few more of those made. Why not? We're almost there. We've almost got this thing sealed up. That would be the uh, main goal of today is to get ourselves inside. It's much better to be in here than to be out there sometimes. Uh, so let's go there and there. There. This needs to snap. Okay, there. Okay, right. Correct. Of course you do. Of course you need to snap there. Number five again. And we're going to put this guy right here. And then I think I'm out of stuff. I'm out of stone. I've got enough wood, but we need a little more stone. So let's go back out here. We're almost there, guys. We've almost got a place to call home. Oh, what do we have here? There's a hyena up there making his way down this way. Let's uh, just kind of keep an eye on him a little bit, see what he does, see if he comes around this corner. I'm going to have to wind up dealing with that hyena. Mm, ouch. God, I bet that hurts. And here he comes. Nope, maybe not. Maybe he's going to turn around. It looks like he's coming right to me. He is. He's coming right this way. It's kind of avoiding predators and stuff today just to kind of get my feet wet again in the game. But it doesn't look like this is going to happen. We're going to have to take him out. He's just going to keep on coming. Okay, I'm not going to survive if I don't learn to dodge. I understand that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, back to one. Back to three. Sorry, back to three. Yeah, I'm going to have to get better at my combat. And that's what I was working on, uh, I think, the last season we were playing, too. I just kind of get myself built up with better, you know, weapons and tools and, and clothes and stuff like that, armor. And uh, it was coming to me a little bit better towards the end of probably the, the last time I played this game. If you're new, welcome. It takes me a while to get to where you'd probably like to see me be. This is more of a traditional Let's Play where I take you with me when I do a lot of the stuff. Episodes are usually going to be between 40 minutes and an hour long, sometimes even longer than that, because uh, I'm a glutton to put you through punishment. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it, it's kind of more of a traditional let's play. Oh, come on now. 
There you go, Chash. You did it. You did it. All right. Nice work. All right. So let's go inventory. We need a couple of these guys. Uh, okay. There's one. And then I'm going to need two of you. At least two of you. Let's see. We'll see how many of those we actually need. And uh, let's go into here. And we're going to drop, 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 drop. There we go. Number five goes here and right here. And then we're going to need this and this next. Number five. There we go. Uh, you know what? I might not need... Let's go back to our inventory. What kind of roof pieces do we have? Okay, so we don't have the corner ones, the big... Okay. Oh, wait, yes, we do. Oh, we do have those. Okay, so let's... Let's put those back. Let's get rid of that right there. Let's go inventory. I need one, two... Three, four of them. Four of those. One, two, three, four. Inverted thatch slope roof corner. Let's see. I'm going to need a few of these guys. Get those going. We'll get those down the hot bar as well here. What speeds up crafting? I think that's got a lot to do with the, the thralls, I, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. I thought for sure, I did not know that that did not go the right way. It looked to me like it was sitting in the corner just right, but it wasn't, obviously. I don't understand. Why is this not hooking onto there like it's supposed to? Isn't this supposed to sit in a corner? <laughs> there it goes. Hello? Oh, that is weird. It's not going in right. Okay, give me a second. I'll come back. It's being fussy, but it seems to be working. Uh, it helps to have these guys in first. Like so. And then it seems to give you the option to kind of uh, use your mouse wheel to scroll the thing around. Depending on where you're standing. There it goes. So, yeah... I thought some of this trickier stuff, these these oddities with the building was, was probably taken care of by now, but I don't think... There's still some weird things, and there is with every building game I play. There it goes. It, uh, yeah, it, was just, it, it just takes a second for it to say, hmm, this isn't quite right. So now what do I need for this curve right here? I believe I need this guy right here. Let's craft one. What am I going to be missing here? Sticks and fiber. So probably the sticks are going to be the things I'm going to be needing to go out and get. Uh, let's go... Like that. Yes, just like that. Okay, so I need a couple more of those. I need corner, I need number six. And 
And then I also need another one of these guys, right? Well, let's see. Let's see. Hold on a second. Let me make sure I've got this angle. This what I'm looking at is right. Uh, that's another corner piece, so it is the right one. So I need another one of these. And then I need uh, two more of the angled ones. And then we should be sheltered. We're going to be out. We need the fiber and the, the sticks. So that's, that's, that's fine. It's just fine. Inventory. This guy right here. There it goes, right there. Okay, beautiful. All right, very good, very good. And I don't suppose I have enough stuff to make one of these ceilings, do I? I do. Excellent. Let's get this sealed up. We're almost there, guys. We're almost uh, home sweet home here. Uh, I don't have one of those. Did not let me click it away. Okay, I'm going to go like that right there. And then I need two more. Uh, two more roofs. Stuff comes back nice and quick. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this stuff isn't all back by tomorrow morning. I'll keep you with me right now. There we go. Beautiful. Stick. And then what else do we need for those? It's... I'm pretty sure it's just... Wood. It's just wood. It's just this stuff, right? It's fiber. Okay, so I've got some sticks. I just need some fiber to finish this up. Turn my torch on so you guys can see. There we go. Beautiful. I like the fact that I can hold the torch, I can keep the tool in my hand, and I can pick up this fiber without having to put my tool away every time I want to do it. Pick it up. It's nice. Let's get a little bit more wood. Alright, beautiful. And then just a little more stone as well. And we should drink some water. Yeah, beautiful. So we got a drink. There we go. Full of water. Let's eat those last two eggs we have. That's going to bring our health up a little bit, too. There we go. Beautiful. And let's grab this up real fast as well. We're almost there. It takes so much fiber that you always have some bugs on you, you know? And if I'm not running around like a madman all day long, it, it sustains me okay right now at the beginning, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. Inventory. We need two of these. Very good. I'm not going to throw stuff out because I don't know what I can and can't do with some of this stuff. Uh, the bees are interesting. I don't know what they're for. There we go. We got ourselves a little place to get out of storms in. And like I said, what we could do is we can expand on this, turn this into more of a balcony area. We'll put a forge or two up here and, and get that going. What do we need for the forge? Do we know the forge yet? Can we make it? No, but we've been learning and getting points pretty consistently here. So let's see. What do we have? Six points to spend. I'm going to do... All of them there, I guess. I'm not even to that first one in encumbrance. That's okay. At least we're on our way there. Um, let's put some of this stuff in here. Oh, very good. There's our little baby hyena. Let's go into our feats. Furniture maker. 
torch broke. That kind of scared me. There's a bow. Let's do the bow right now. Thrall taker, not just yet. Where's the forge? Construction. We want stairs. We want that, and we definitely want that. We want to get down here to the elevators and stuff, too. This is going to be very important for us. There's the forge. Apprentice Butcher. Okay, we definitely uh, want to unlock that, and we want to unlock the forge. Iron tools. Yes. I bet I need this before I can even get to that even, huh? And odds are I'm going to need this too. <laughs> right. Right. Bed shaper. I got two, one point left. Torch. Torch that could burn for a long time. Nah. What is this here? Okay. Improvised torch. I see. So the next torch is this one over here. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Grinder. Steel tools. We're kind of working our... I guess we're going to be working our way down this one here. Where is that other blade? There's a... Um, an improved campfire. That would be good to have. That's two points to unlock. Well, that would be good to have. Oh, fisher. Okay, so we can't even get the fisher yet. All right. Level 20. I see. I see. Okay, I'm not looking at that over there. That's level 20. What is this? Level 17. Okay, gotcha. I forgot about that part. All right, so we got that going anyways. Is there another workbench that we could learn and should learn? We've got all of these guys right here, which is a good start. Where was that pie cat that I looked at? Level 15, Iron Pike. Okay, so I can learn the Bruiser. But I have to wait till I'm level 15. What level am I? I'm a level 10 right now. So there we go. We're doing pretty good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hold off on anything over here, too. Religion, I'm going to hold off on that, too. Um, let's go back to home. I feel like we've done what we can in there. This one looks like we've gotten what we can out of this guy as well. Oh, this is cool. These are good. Oh, man, I forgot about all the neat stuff you can make. There's some really cool stuff in here. There's some really nice mods for this game, too. I am well aware of that, by the way. Weaver. Okay, expert weaver, armorer. How do I get to... Let's back out of there. Let's go back into there. Coarse hand wraps, coarse tunic, okay. And then when do I get to the armor? Level 10. Requires, oh, requires weaver and stone tools. Okay. Perfect. I'm a level, okay, I'm, what level am I? Level 10. Just turn to level 10. Okay, so we're, we're, we're waiting. We're almost there. Uh, okay, what else? Okay, so we were looking at the forge, right? That's what the next thing I wanted to look at. I think it's uh, going to take a little bit of something to get that. 540 stone. 540 stone, people. 540 stone. We just happen to have a bunch of stone right over here. Can I get this guy? Look at that, man. They're fast. They used to stand there for a second. Yeah, remember, you could usually get a few swings in them. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do to, to, to kill these animals. Because that's fast. Really fast. Holy cow. I'm really kind of surprised by that. I did not know that that was going to uh, be the case. 
food was never really too difficult of a thing to get, you know. But that animal takes off so quick. How are you supposed to get it? Poison arrows. There you go. Poison arrows. Shoot it with a poison arrow and watch it fall. Ouch. Inventory. 302. We just need a couple hundred more. That's all. Just a couple hundred more. I would love to have that um, ready to go by the end of this episode. Let's do that. Let's get the forge up and running. We need iron. To, in order to progress, we're going to need iron. And this looks like this might be iron right here. Oh my gosh, there's iron right here. Well, that's so easy. <laughs> it's not much, but it is right there. I think that means there's there's more of it right around right over here, right? Oh, I'm almost I'm encumbered. I'm getting encumbered. Let's go up to the house, drop this stuff in. All right, beautiful. Nice. She's so tough. Uh, yeah, look at that. A little bit of iron. Oh, that's very cool. All right, we got 405 stone. We're almost there. Let's go back down there and see if we can't find, uh, get a little bit more of that. Yeah, I think she takes a little more damage now when she jumps. At least it seems that way. I keep thinking one is my pick. I should probably put my pick on number one. I'm kind of used to having it there. So yeah, those hyenas are going to be kind of a thing. We're going to have one walking up on us every now and again, for sure. It's just going to be a thing. All right, let's get that. Uh, let's get those stone. 418, 421. This will be the stuff we need right here, just to finish this up. We're almost there. I think the last time I played the Gather Raid, I had set it to three, and then on the server, I put it on two, so I was getting twice as much material each time I hit. But I do believe you get more, hopefully, with the metal tools once we upgrade. I don't mind a little bit of this to, to get there. It's fine. Alt to roll. Yeah, the, the movement when she uh, dodges is definitely different. What happens if I eat a B? Oh, it's actually really good. Worker bee. Just ate a worker bee. <laughs> I think it was good. Oh. Tough. That's tough. That's some tough stuff to eat. Forge. Forge. Craft it. There we go. What do we need to hear? We're going to need an artisan table. We need 40 wood for that. I've got it. Let's craft it. The Catan Artisan Table. Oh, that's right. Now I remember how this all worked. Okay. I remember now. It's all coming back. Let's get the uh, campfire going too. So that way when I do work out killing the animals for their meat, we've got it taken care of. Number five. Uh-huh. Let's put it this way. It's a little ways away, huh? There we go. Let's try that again. That's better. That works. That works just fine for me right there. 
All right, we're going to shift click that in. Uh, what is it? Just amount. Oh, I see. Okay, so let's go 25. And then ignite. Is that right? Looks to me like we are making some iron ingots inside this guy right here. All right. That's it. That's all I got time for today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Want you to have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time.